Kim, Kim, how would you kind of size up the last 48 hours and how your guys sort of regrouped? It was tough. That was tough. You know, it was really tough to move on. Um, you know, and, uh, it, and and I hadn't, you know, <laughs> truthfully, um, you know, and our staff did a great job in helping me. You know, it was really hard, you know, for me not to have a full, real shoulder pads practice yesterday and sure up our defense, which we felt really good about leaving Chicago. Um, but you never want a team to beat you twice. And um, we had to move on. And most importantly, there were lessons learned from Old Dominion. And uh, that will serve us better in the future. But the guys did respond. And we did eventually move on and had to play a team that we had a ton of respect for. I didn't, I didn't expect this to be a game of this, you know, get for it to get out of hand the way it did. They, they, they present a lot of problems. But um, at the end of the day, we knew if our defense was good, that's all that matters. And that was the only focus, defense, and, and defense, ball security, and, and paint production. What do you take away from a, a game like this for, for Devin uh, as he continues his progress? It was good. It was off of a DMP. It gets to a point with young guys especially, you got to hammer your point home. Sometimes, uh, you know, Bob Knight used to say, the bench is the best teacher. And he didn't play at Old Dominion. And uh, all I, I asked him on the drive back from Norfolk, I said, why didn't you why didn't you play? Or what do you need to do to play? And he answered perfectly. It was, my, it, he needs to be vocal and he needs to be aggressive. That's so all I asked out of Devin Dinkins, to be vocal and be aggressive. Coach, now that the non-conference season is wrapping up or has wrapped up, did you feel like you've gotten out of it and learned enough about this team going into the conference season? Yeah, we're still learning. We're always learning day to day. But yeah, we, we, um, what, what we have learned is that we really like this group. We like the way it was constructed. And you know that because usually in, um, in uh, my past, you know, when you in, encounter a rough patch, you get like recruit crazy. Right, you're like I gotta find somebody. These these aren't good. These guys aren't good enough. I haven't had that feeling one bit. Obviously, we never stop recruiting, but we really like and believe in all the pieces we have. It's been just about getting them better. Uh, we have a saying in our program: "So what? Now what? Uh, when things go good, so what? Now what? When things aren't going the best, so what? Now what?" Um, a lot of lessons to take from this. 13 game schedule, just like every non conference. You know, obviously we dropped a few in uh, the Virgin Islands, you know, which, you know, and, and the other night was probably, you know, take us out of at large contention. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, that, that, it looks to be true throughout our league. You know, so we just have to get better every single day. And now it's time to compete for a championship. And now that you're moving on to the conference season, just as a coach, are there things that, you've held back that you, you wait until the conference season gets here to kind of install or run or? I'm not savvy enough of a coach uh, to, you know, Co Coach Barnes used to do that some. I don't want to pull that out yet. No, we need, we, we need, yeah, I mean, we, we have some wrinkles we can add to sets. You're always adding things, you know, but, but no, I mean, our stuff is things change. You know, we'll get to look at, you know, there's an inventory of looked at what worked, what hasn't worked, lineups. Um, you know, but uh, now it's just time to focus on and focus in and lock in and try to win every game. The work that Victor's done for you all year, but particularly over the last, I think, what, three or four games or so, has that been kind of what you thought it was going to be when he got here? And, and how valuable has that been? For yeah, him? it's been good. And, and uh, offensively, uh, he's been better defensively, but has had some mishaps defensively. You know, you know, against Hofstra at the end, against ODU at the end, and we got to learn from it. You know, it's and it's 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 always on us. It's never. I take ownership and complete responsibility for every mishap, and I got to help him become a better defender in those times. I got to help his ball security at times. But you know, the best teams, that blame and ownership is shared right by every single person in the program, and I feel like we're getting that. We have that. Thanks, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And happy Hanukkah and happy Kwanzaa.